black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Just got the bag delivered by a guy named Sonu, S-O-N-U, or Sunyu, or Sonu. This is Sonu, this whole scenario. It's very new. But let's get to the bag. We have a Russian nesting doll scenario here. Bags and bags and bags and bags. Thumbnail. Hey, Wendy. What's up, babe? <laughs> I got entirely way too much food, but that's because I, me, myself, Black Hoodie, have not eaten bread or dairy or anything like that in two whole months. I'm down some pounds as well, maybe in the face a little bit, mostly off the body. Um, but yeah, like I just haven't, I haven't eaten fast food in two months. I haven't eaten like bread, anything like that. So this is gonna be crazy enjoyable. All right, let's unravel these mysteries. The double bacon classic from Wendy's. I also got an Asiago chicken bacon ranch type deal. I also got chili cheese chos, baby. Use this for a dipping pool because I never leave home without my ranch. Gotta have a ranch pool for some fries. Get into this food. So what up y'all? In a whole new scenario here, as you can see. Mmm. Welcome to my new lair. Maybe not as dope as before, but free. Living for free. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe just getting a backdrop too. I'm gonna get like a ring light and like set up a backdrop, I think. And uh, get things set up proper, but for now, I just moved in. Just wanted to uh, just do a video, blast something out for you. Just say, hey, I'm back, I'm alive. And that I haven't eaten any of this junk in like two months. And I'm incredibly excited about eating it right now. I haven't had a burger, like me not having a burger in so long. savor this. I haven't had Wendy's in like a year. <laughs> Maybe longer. Needs more mayo. And I didn't bring like a spoon or anything for it, so I'm gonna have to try to get crafty with a fry maybe. gonna work. Ooh, maybe a chip will work. Alright. When in doubt, use a chip to get more mayo. It's really not the best tool. But it's gonna have to do in a pinch. My return to food is glorious. Mm. I've just been on a fruits and vegetables train. So yeah, I'm all better, I think, from like my illness or whatever I had there for a while. And I moved. I hadn't eaten anything bad in two months. I hadn't drank in two months or whatever, all that stuff. And so the Raptors, Toronto Raptors, 
are killing it in the championship. Looks like we're going to win. And uh, so last night was a game. And my boy had like a barbecue. And, uh, you know, like a friend's night for the game. And I haven't gone out in so long. So I was like, I got to do it. So I drank last night for the first time in like two months. And now this is the result of that today. I was like, you know what? I've been so good for so long. I drank. I might as well cave in and get some hangover food. Mm. And then get back, you know, being healthy again until the next time I make a video. In my hangover state today, I weirdly had the craving to like go see a movie. And just eat bullshit, like really bad food in the theater. For some reason or another, I would want to go see the new Aladdin. Don't ask me why. Probably because it's a childhood classic that I want to see like the reinvention of. Let's try this chicken burger here. Wendy's chicken is legit always. I didn't, however, end up doing this movie movie plan because basically. I don't really have anybody to go with. And I'm so, like, on the fence, weird about going to a movie alone. I know it's like, I've done it. It's pretty good in a sense, like, you just... get to focus on the movie and take it in no no conversations and shit well there's just something strange about going to a movie alone and I can't seem to get over like the idea of it even though I've done it I did it pretty recently actually And it's exactly the thing that I didn't want to happen, happened, was I bumped into somebody that I knew, and then you're alone, and then you look weird. And so uh, I'll tell you, a little, I'll tell you about it, and kind of why it's a little bit funny. It was, a, it was a girl. Who. She was with her boyfriend and stuff. So anyway, okay. So here's the story. I used to work at this restaurant. And. Uh, this girl. From the theater. Her and her friend, another girl, used to come into my restaurant all the time, like once a week and get like a charcuterie board, like meat and cheese. And uh, we got like pretty chummy or whatever. Like I used to like talk to them at their table and stuff all the time.
eventually like I had like their Instagrams and like would see them out partying and stuff. And so I was kind of like, it developed a little crush on the one girl. And I remember I hit her up like in through in, her, her Insta DM. And like, kind of asked her out through the, through an Insta DM. And she like fully shut me down. She had like the, oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend thing. Which I know at the time she didn't have a boyfriend, but she was just trying to let me down nice and easy. Which is fine. So she denied me and then like, of course, years later down the line, I make the courageous attempt to go to a movie all alone. And as I get up to leave the theater at the end of the movie, she's like coming down the stairs with her boyfriend. Her now new boyfriend that was like, they weren't together back then. Like she just started dating this guy in the last, I don't know, two years or whatever. <laughs> Sees me alone at the movies. And it was one of those things where like, we saw each other and I, like, wanted to, like, shimmy and get away and not have to partake in the conversation. But then she like, kind of, like, I was like, hey, like, I wanted to talk. And then introduced me to her boyfriend. And then we had to have, like, this weird conversation leaving the theater together. And, uh, and she's like, oh, like, are you alone? And I was like, uh, well, like, I went to another movie with my buddy, and then I would just decided I'd come into this one after, and he, he left to somewhere else. <laughs> like, we saw one movie, and then I just decided to stay and watch another movie. So I was like, I came with someone. They're just gone now. <laughs> Which is so sketchy and stupid, but I was like trying to not look so bad. And then she goes, she's like, well, experts say uh, actually uh, movies are best to be seen by yourself. It's really how it should be because you then your all your attention is just on the movie. When you can actually like take the whole experience in she's like trying to make me feel better about my loner lifestyle but ultimately I didn't really care okay well after having not eaten like this for a long time taking its toll on me. I'm like hot. Quite the activity. These got so mushy. I want to eat more for you, but I can't. Okay, one more bite of this. I'm just so full of feeling. I did get like two meals. Like two full meals. A sandwich on the side, a sandwich and fries. So I did a pretty good effort, I think. I cannot wait to just lay down. And do nothing for the rest of tonight. 
Well, nice to see you again. Hope you enjoyed that to some extent. I know I did. And I'll probably roll over and finish this in like an hour or two. Once I digest a little bit, I know I'll probably be hungry again, so. I won't be turning the camera on for that though. Till the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true. <laughs>